Hello and welcome to the series C Language Programming for Beginners. If you watched the previous video, which was the introduction, I believe that is why you are also here. Now, we need to get started with C. But before we get into the code, we need to get some things ready. So to get started with C, you need two things. You need a test editor like VS Code, CodeBlock or Notepad, which you use to write the C code and a compiler like GCC. The compiler helps you to translate the C code into a language that the computer will be able to understand. Remember from our last in, in, illustration, a compiler is the middleman between your code and the understanding of the computer. So there are many test editors and compilers to choose from, but in this tutorial, we would be using the IDE called VS Code. So what is an IDE? An IDE is an integrated development environment which is used to edit and compile your codes. So popular IDEs for C include C block, code block, code blocks, Eclipse, and Visual Studio Code. They are all free and they can be used to both edit and debug C code. But in this training, in this video, we would be using the VS Code called Visual Studio Code. Also, for our compiler, we will be using a compiler called MinGW, which has GCC pre-installed, which will help us to compile all of our C code. So, let's get to it. Hi and welcome. This is Precious from ClickIt Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a C compiler in your Windows computer that you can use with your Visual Studio Code editor. The C compiler we'll be installing is called MinGW, and I'm going to put a link to this page where you can download it from in the description for this video. The next thing you need to do is come over to this section. The first one, you don't need the first download because it comes installed with Git. We need the second one because this one does not have Git. I believe you should have Git installed on your computer already. And if you want a very comprehensive video on how to use Git, please check out one of my previous videos on Git. So click on this to start the download. Personally, I have downloaded this program already. So all I need to do is just to open up the folder for my programs, for downloaded programs, and start the installation. So let's do that. So I'm going to install this in my C folder. So delete everything you have here and change whatever alphabet you have here to C. That's all. Then extract. So the extraction will take some a little while because it's extracting a pre-installed program. So let's give it time. So the reason why you need the mean GW is so that you would be able to run your C programs on your computer or on your Visual Studio Code editor. Because the compiler is what is going to interpret your codes to the computer. So it's like an interpreter for the computer to understand the commands that you are giving to it. That is the major importance of getting this program. So now that you have it installed, let's check where it is. So remember, I had mine in C. And this is the folder, min GW. So open this folder, open the bin folder, and copy this link from here. Copy. Why do we need the link? Because we need to add it to our environmental variables on our computer so that we'll be able to use the compiler everywhere on the computer. So click on the Windows icon and search for environment. You don't even need to type it completely because it will come out. So this one, edit the system environment variables. So click on it. So you have it open here, your environment variable. But before we continue, let's go back again. Click on your C folder, min GW, open bin, and click up here and copy this link. We want to put the link in our environment variable 
so that we will be able to access the compiler all through our computer. So open up the environment variable again. Click on this box in here, environment variables. And on the first one, just below, user variable for precious area. Who oh, I don't know, your computer would have a different name. Click on edit, then click on new, then paste it with control V. Click OK. Also, come down and do that for system variables. Click on part, click on edit here, click on new, and paste with control V. OK. Close the system variable by clicking OK. Now, the next thing for us to do is to test to be sure that we have the C compiler installed properly. And how do you do that? Just search for CMD, that is command prompt, open, then type GCC version. If it's installed, it's going to tell you the version. And yes, we did that correctly. Also, the next one, G++ version. If it's installed correctly, it tells you the version. And there you have it. Our installation was done properly. The next thing for us to do is to install the Visual Studio Code Editor. Personally, I have it installed on my computer already. But if you don't have it installed, then this is how you go about it. Visual Studio Code. You search for it on Google. Then you click on the first the link here that says download. So depending on your system type, you will find different links to download. But mine, and I believe yours, will be Windows. So you click on this for Windows you, to download the one for Windows. So when you download, complete your download, just start the installation by double-clicking on the file. And don't forget to check the boss for add parts to variable. Now, when that is done, open your Visual Studio code because we need to put in some extensions. To add extensions to your Visual Studio code, click on this icon that has the boxes. And the first extension we will install is called C, C++. Just type that with me. I have it installed already, but I believe yours will not be installed already. So when you get your search return here, you will see a button like this that says install in front of it. Click on that button. Ensure it is from Microsoft. So you have something like this, then you click on install. Then the next program would extension would install is called Code Runner. I have it installed too, but yours may not be installed, so it should be from Junhan. Also click on install to install it. When that is done, the next thing for us is to test our C program. So let's do that now. Let's write our first C program. To do that, just click on this icon that says new file. I'm going to call it hello.c. The file extension should be C because it's a C file. Enter. And let's type a simple C program. std.io h int main print f hello my friend The next thing for us to do is to save and to run our program. To run this program, you just click on this icon here, this play icon on your screen. Or you use Control Alternate N. So I'm just going to click on this button here to run this code. And let's see if our compiler is already working with Visual Studio Code. And there you have it. It's working. It says, hello, my friend. Let me change it to something else. Let me say, my name is Precious. 
and let's see oh I didn't save that so save and let's see check what happens here and you can see the new code has been outputted my name is precious so our C code can now be compiled in Visual Studio code and we can run it properly and get our return or our output. So that is it on getting your compiler installed on Visual Studio code and ensuring that it runs properly. So there's another problem you will face with your C program and the compiler and that is when you are trying to get user generated input. Let's try it and see. Let's create a file called input.c. I've written this script already, so I will just paste it here. It's a simple script that asks you to enter your country and it tells you that your country is whatever country you imputed. So let's run this script. As you can see, the program has run successfully, but there is no output. There is no way for you to put in your country. So let's end this script. Let's end the terminal, the, pro the script running on the terminal, and redo this. You use Control Alternate M. So for you to solve this problem, all you need to do is click on File, Preferences, and Settings. Then here, search for run in terminal. And scroll to the bottom to where you see code runner run in terminal. Click that and that's all. So let's go back to our scripts and let's run it again. And now, as you can see, it says enter your country. I am from Nigeria, so I'm going to put that in there and click enter. And as you can see, it says your country is Nigeria. So that's that on this video on how to install a C compiler called MG, oh, sorry, called WinGW on your computer, on your Windows computer. Also, I've been able to show you how to install Visual Studio Code and how to create your first C program and also how to solve the issue of not being able to put in an input into your Visual Studio code from an output or uh, a response or a script from your C compiler. So that's that on this video. I'll see you in the other videos that teaches us how to do more great stuff with C. See you.